am in the kitchen. It's Lori, the armchair chef. Um, I did a little shopping last night after work, and I've got some chicken, um, some chicken thighs. You get about nine or ten of them for five bucks, so it was a pretty good deal. So I'm going to cook about half of them. So I went on looking for a recipe, and um, Mom used to make chicken and rice, but she made it in the oven. So I found somebody that's making chicken and rice, and it gave me an idea to just use what I've got here to make it. So I'm going to use, now I don't know what kind of rice it is. It could be arborio or it could be basmati. I'm not sure. Okay, I had bought some mushrooms. I had bought some mushrooms and they're the baby bells, sliced baby bells. And then the um, I put two cups of the chicken stock that I had left over. From something and so I've got the rice down here in the bottom I did rinse it so now I'm gonna do some onion and then put some seasonings in there and then put the chicken so I will give you a give you a look before I uh, turn it on and show you what I'm doing okay okay here we go I've got the white onions in there and all that brown stuff is I put some cumin some chili powder some smoked paprika and the chicken has a uh, garlic powder and pepper so now I get to put them in now the guy took the skin off but I know leaving it on is gonna make this really greasy but fat is flavor talk to any chef so we're gonna put those in there and then I'm going to season the top with, oh, I don't know. What should I put on the top? Just put some pepper, just some plain old seasoning. I don't want to mix up too much more seasoning, so I'll just put some pepper on top. I like pepper. It's not going to, I'm going to put salt in because there's a lot of other flavors in there. And I do have the um, chicken broth, so I'm just going to, I'll just put pepper on the top. And uh, that rice should be really good all this fat should go down there and help uh with the moisture on that rice so he did high for three and a half hours so let me do this select high three and a half okay there we go all done i will see you on the other side Okay, well, it's three hours, and I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I thought I'd check on the chicken. And they're coming out at 180, so it should be done. Now, I'm pretty sure this rice is finished. Looks a little done. So, yeah. I think I'll get a spoon and stir this up and then turn the heat off. It smells good, lots of flavor. I love cooked mushrooms, so that, that should be nice. Well, let me get this mixed up and I will get back to you. I may end up not getting back to you till tomorrow, but you won't know that because <laughs> it'll be on the same video. Okay, let me get this out of here. All right, I'm gonna take care of this rice now. We'll see how that turned out. Well, Sometimes I just don't want to do anything fancy and I have a bowl of rice that's very well seasoned and there's things in here that look like raisins but they're mushrooms and um, it's got that I put chili powder in it some smoked paprika some cumin and then I just put it in the bowl and added some you know butter to it and it's good enough for me I'm sure there's other things that can be done with it But I like having the mushrooms. I might like to add a little corn or something to get a little more texture. Um, this is similar to like a rice aroni. This might have been arborio because I bought arborio to make rice pudding with and I never used it. So that might have been what this was. They're little like little flat 
pieces of rice. I usually use jasmine, but you know, I want to use what I have. But this is kind of like rice aroni. It almost tastes like a rice aroni, which is nothing wrong, but yeah, I'm not real picky. This would be just fine for my dinner. I don't really want to add too much more to it, but yeah, it's just fine the way it is with a piece of chicken too, but I'm going to save chicken. I'll take it my lunch tomorrow. Okay, this one turned out okay. I might do some more experiment with different kind of rice, maybe more liquid to make it a little less dry. It was a little sticky and gummy at the bottom and probably not three hours. I probably checked the kitchen, the chicken sooner because um, everything was really done at three hours. So I probably would do it, do it, uh, not take so long. Okay, thanks. See my treats? Oh, they were marked down at Winco. Valentine's. Oh, look at that. No, ah, uh, there's a sneak peek. I'm going to be doing a tasting. Ta-da.